Welcome back to another BRG Motorsports video. Today we're going to take a second look at Brian Jones's 143 cubic inch SNS Street Glide. A whole lot of you might have seen Brian's initial reaction to the first time he rode his bike with the new SNS motor in it, skillfully installed by independent Harley mechanic Matt Judkins, and then break-in tune done here at BRG by Mike Baker. Since then, Brian has clearly gotten a lot more comfortable with the much higher levels of torque and horsepower that this motor delivers. Check out Brian's thoughts on his bike now and his numbers from start to finish of this project. From the stock 96 motor, then an exhaust, a thunder header, then from Woods cams, a set of T222s. Unlike the break-in tune, the final tune wasn't so time intensive. Mike took about four hours to get the bike dialed in. Unfortunately, the rear tire had had enough of the 180 horsepower and 195 foot-pounds of torque. As you can see from the picture, the tire went flat from the sidewall going bad. I did it the other day. Gotta get out and can't stay <laughs> in it. You can't stay in it, man. No, because it, it starts the... turning. Yeah, on the other side, on the flip side, he's right. It'll, it'll pick the front end up in the first, second. Third. Not bad for a full dress Harley. No, not bad for a thousand pound bike with a three hundred pound rider. Yeah, uh, but we got tire, tire insulation, and then on and off the dyno. I understand. Okay. I know. I, I got the tire as a trophy in the back of my truck. I was showing it off yesterday. Okay. I am glad that you're, you're happy. Oh yes, it. absolutely. So now, feed me the numbers. So. You want to know what the numbers are. Brian, being a good performance-oriented individual, has given us a rare opportunity here. Because back in 2013, Brian bought the Street Glide in for just a baseline. He wanted to know exactly where he was starting from, right from the very beginning. So, from the beginning, 66 horsepower out of a bone stock Harley-Davidson Street Glide. After that, he put on a Thunder Header Brought it back in for a BRG Power Commander 5 Dyno Tune, and that bumped the horsepower nicely up to 88 horsepower. Then, back in 2017, he got Matt Judkin to install a set of T2 22 Woods cams. After the Thunder Header, the Woods cams, Performance Air Cleaner, and another BRG Power Commander 5 Dyno Tune, that bumped the horsepower up to 95 horsepower, and 108 foot-pounds of torque. There's nothing to shrug at, but Brian was still losing at the drag strip. So, Brian decided to throw it all in with this s, &S Monster Motor, topped off with a custom-made header from Jay at Fab 28. And then it was up to Mike Baker at BRG to put it all together with a PowerVision Dyno Tune. Well, Brian's not losing at the drag strip anymore. <laughs> 